Hello everybody, welcome to Franco Bar class. Um, today we'll be doing how to cut the back of the dress. Yeah, I know we did the front, but we're not true with the front. Mm, we're working on everything together just like that. We'll have to join all those parts we cut up, those breasts parts and before we put the neck, the ruku ruku inside. So today we'll be showing you how to cut the back neck. Now this bag that I want to cut, I'm not going to have zip allowance. Mm -mm, because I'm not using zip, I'm using a lace back. So, oh yeah, let's go there. Welcome, so this is the back. Um, remember to always fold the widest part of the body, and which is the boss, which is the widest part for this very part. So, we're working with the boss measurement. Now this one I did not put anything like zip allowance because there's going to be a cross back on it. So I took my normal length here which is 20. Oh. That's why you saw that I, I make a rule here which is 20. Now I'm going to have the shoulder, the neck here. So I'm going to do all that here at the back. I know I've not done that at the front but it's okay. We're going there. So, I show that it's 15. Now 15 divided by 2 is going to give me... 7.5 known as seven and a half. So from this very middle here, I'm gonna get my seven and a half. Seven and a half, and then I'll mark seven and a half. Now on this wedding dress, there is no sleeve. Now, if you want to have a sleeve on your own, you take the arm o nine inches. Then if there is no sleeve, you take it eight inches. Now from this very mark, I'm gonna take I'm going to mark here 8 inches each. So this is 8 inches. From here to here is 8 inches. So I'm just going to make my arm O. Please, I'm using a free hand to curve my arm O. So I'm just going to make my arm O curve. Now, this is arm O. I have not taken my neck. It now depends on the kind of neck you want. Do you want a small neck? Do you want a wide neck? Do you want you no know, the over wide widest? Depends on what your clients want. But here I want to use a small neck because I want to create a little bit um, old design at the back. So I'll be using three inches for the wideness of my neck. Please, this is the middle of my fabric hole. Uh -huh. Three inches. So I'll mark three inches here. I'm going to bring it down with one and a half inches. I'm going to bring it down with one and a half inches. Please, the wideness from here to here is three inches. From here to here down is one and a half. You can take it one inch. You can take it as, you know, the way you want the back neck to be. So I'll curve to my one and a half. I don't know if it's clear. Now I want to slant my shoulder. Some people do use one inch to slant. Depends on everybody. Me, I use half inch for my slanting. And it has been working for me. So use whatever you know it has been working for you. Uh, sorry, I don't need to mark because I'm used to the, you know, where the half inch is. So, <laughs> this is it. I don't know if you can actually see it. So this is the neck, this is the shoulder slant. It's very important for you to slant your shoulder, please, in order to fit into your client. And this is my arm. Oh, oh, yeah. Now remember we marked half, um, eight inch, sorry, for the arm. Oh, now I've already reduced half inch from it. So I'm having seven and a half. Please take note. Now, after all these, I'm going to place my bust measurement and my waist measurement. So my bust measurement now is um, 36, 36 plus 4 inch, let's say 10. I'm going to add extra 1 inch to it because I want it to you know, have enough space because I'm going to be doing inside turning and all that. So it takes space. So I'll be marking like 10 and a half. That is 11. 10 and a half. This is 10 and a half now. Please, it's divided into four. Bust measurement divided into four. It's only the shoulder you divided into two. The right measurement should be divided into four. Now, from this damp part here, this very damp part here, 
I'm going to measure my waist round. Our waist round here is 31. 31 plus, let me say 5 inch, 36. So divide your 36 by 4. Let's see how many we're going to get. Please feel free to ask any question. This video is for Franka Brown. Anybody else that gives this video out that is not from me, please, that person is a scammer. Nobody should duplicate my video. Nobody should sell my video outside apart from me. And then if you want to also watch some of my videos, you can check me on YouTube. Yeah, check me on YouTube at Franka Brown Design. You can also check me on my Facebook page at FB So To Shape. Yes, I'm that me there. So check, get free illustration, get free video. Okay, 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 that's that. Let's continue. So let's say the waist right here now is nine. Year nine, which is the down part, so I'm gonna put nine here. I mark nine. This is my boss line, this is my boss line, and this is my waistline. So I'm just gonna connect the two marks together, just like that. Here we go, PJ Monkey. All right, I don't know if you can actually see what we've done sorry it's kind of fun yeah teaching with fun so i don't know if it's clear all right so this is boss line this is waist line now remember that court has a v what kind of v shape remember that dress i posted there's a v cut at the middle so let's show you how you can do your own the normal half cut length i wanted is 17 sorry 16 so from here now i'm gonna mark 16 where my 16 is this is 16 i don't know if you can actually see is this no yeah so this is 16 and you know because of the v cut i took 20 to extend it <laughs> but if you don't want the v cut you can just remove it so like this one i'm just going to show you how i'm going to make the v cut i might not put it in my own i might put it in my own i don't know yet as the spirit leaf. So, from here to here now, it's 20. Now, this is the side. Remember that side that has that, you know, curved something like this at the wedding dress. I don't know if you can remember. Hey, in class. So, this is the V here. This is the side. So, now it now depends on how wide you want the side to come or how small you want the V to be. I don't want my V to be too pronounced. So, from here, from this middle here, I can just take about um, three inches. I think three inches is enough. Three inches. That's when you open it is six. So let's mark three inches here. So when you open it is about six inch. Mm -hmm. So you just curve like this. You know, as if you are going to swing to be pushing. Oh yeah, curve. Curve your own. You know, curve your mouth. Play it so let them see. Let's see the cocos. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it now. <laughs> but if you want your bee to be tiny like this, depends on you. If you want it to be V like this, to come like this. Or any one you want. So that is it. You can decide to make your own straight half cut if you want. You can decide to just make it a V like this. So let's cut. Please, there's no zip allowance in this one because it's a laid back. So just cut according to the shape you have followed. Don't mind this my original brown sheet. Over stiffness you are taking. Please remember this video is from Franca Brown. Feel free to ask questions, but please ask me small, small, not feeling final. Hey, they are still my paper. So you can see it now, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut. I need the upper part, you know, upper part. Eh? separated part which is the back should be transparent so mm, let's show you how you can devour 
Now you can try to make this one very tiny if you want to. It depends on you. There are some people that I know there are some wedding gowns you just need to just come very tiny like this. For me, I don't used to like the one that is too tiny like this. Because now look at see the person has big stomach, even when you don't have. So <laughs> So now I want my back to be transparent. Yes, I want to also make a yoke back just like the front having a yoke style. So from shoulder here, yeah, remember we took seven at the top. But I want this my back to come down a little bit open. So let me say I'm taking like eight inch now. Eight inch now. Please let me use my ruler. So this is the eight inch. That's from my arm or side. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut this part away and place here now on my V or on my transparency, whatever you want. Either you want to use the V or you want to use your transparency lace at the back. All you just need to do is now just chop this part off like this. There's no magic about it. Simple way I work. Mm -hmm. So you can see. I will just place this one now on my veil or on my lace or on my transparency, whatever I want to use, and then just cut. Then I will place this one on my satin and cut. So I'm only going to line it from here down, and from here it's going to be transparent. Okay, that is it. All right, thanks for today's class. Place and cut your pattern. And then our next class is going to show you how to cut the flag and the, you know, whatever, whatever. But till then, remember this is for Franka Brown. Stay tuned. Love you all.